Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I'm going to explain and demo how to configure OAuth 2 for Salesforce authentication. And I will demo how to delete records in Salesforce. For demo, I will switch to the AnyPoint Studio. I will create new Mule project, file, new Mule project. I will give the name OAuth 2 demo Salesforce. I will click finish. I will add now HTTP listener to the project. I will add connector configuration. I will keep this configuration value default. Click OK. I will give the path less auth2. Now I will add Salesforce connected to the project. Click add modules. Click Salesforce, drag it here. I will keep this version 10.13.3. Click add. Salesforce connector has been added to the project. In your case, if you do not find Salesforce connector in your palette, you might need to import from Exchange. I have already created a video on how to import module from Exchange. You can watch that video. I will provide the link in description. Now I will drag the Salesforce connector delete method inside flow. I will add Salesforce connector configuration. Here we can specify the authentication mechanism, how we can connect to the Salesforce. So these are the authentication mechanism available to talk to Salesforce. In this demo, I will use OAuth2. So I will select OAuth2. OAuth2 require consumer key, consumer secret. And we will provide callback path, authorization path, authorized path. And we need external callback URL. To get the consumer key, consumer secret, and external callback URL, I will log into the Salesforce and I need to create a connected app there. So I will go to the Chrome browser, log into the Salesforce. I will enter my username, enter my password. Click login. I will go to the apps, click apps, click app manager. Here I will create a new connected app. So I will click new connected app. I will enter the name my test app 35. I will enter the email test35 at the rate gmail.com. Now, under API enable OAuth setting, I will click enable OAuth setting. Here I will enter callback URL. HTTP colon slash slash localhost 8081 slash callback. Now I need to select OAuth scopes. So I will select all the OAuth scopes. Click and move to the right side. So 
we have added all the OAuth scopes to our connected app. Now I will click save. It will require 10 minutes to get configured. I will click continue. We have created the connected app, my test app 35, but it is not configured yet. It is not ready. So instead of waiting for 10 minutes, I will use my previous connected app that I have already created. So I will go to the app manager. And I will select the My Test app 27. And I will click View. From here, I will copy the consumer key and consumer secret. So I will copy consumer key first. Go to Studio. I will copy the consumer key here. Now I will go back to Salesforce. Now I will copy the consumer secret. To copy the consumer secret, I will pause the video for a few seconds. I have copied the consumer secret. I will paste it here. Now I will enter the callback path. So I will enter slash callback and I need to enter authorized path. So I will enter slash authorize. Now I need to enter external callback URL. So I will go back to Salesforce and I need to copy the callback URL. So I will copy this URL. Go back to studio and paste it here. Now I will click OK. Now to delete the object records in Salesforce, I need to send the array of IDs. So I will build the payload. I will drag the transform message component and here I need to send the array of ID big bracket I will pass the object ID by URI parameter so I will retrieve it from URI parameter attributes dot URI params dot ID and I will add the URI parameter in path. So I will say slash middle bracket ID. I will add now transport message component. And I will change the delete operation response in JSON format. And this response will be sent to the caller of this resource. Now I will save the project. Right click. Run the project. It will be deployed inside embedded runtime. While it is getting deployed, I will go to the Salesforce. Project has already been deployed. Now I will go to the Salesforce to get the object ID. So I will go to the Salesforce. Click on App Launcher. Click Service. I will go to the Account Records. I will click accounts.
I will change the list view. I will select the new this week. I want to delete this customer two account records. So I will get the ID of this customer two record. So I will click the customer two. This is customer two records. We can get the ID from URL. So we can find the ID after slash accounts and before slash view. So I'll copy this ID after slash account till the slash view. Control C. Now I will go back to the studio. Our application has already been deployed. So I will go to the browser and I will invoke this resource slash auth2 slash id. In the new tab, I will invoke the resource local host 8081 co auth2 slash id so in place of id i will give the account record id so this is the id that we copied now i will click enter okay before we can delete this record i need to authenticate so I will log out from the Salesforce. Click View Profile. Click Log Out. Now inside New Tab, I need to invoke this. URL I need to invoke authorized URL so I will go back to browser localhost 8081 authorized Click enter. Here I will log into the Salesforce. Enter username password. Click login. Here we need to give the permission. So we need to provide permission to the My Test App 27. So I will click allow. Okay, we successfully retrieved the access token. Now we can invoke the URL and we can delete the record. So I will hit enter. We got the result. Successful true. Now I will log into Salesforce. Enter username, password. Click login. I will click App Launcher, click Service, click Accounts, I will change the list view.
select new this week. Here we do not have customer to account record because we have deleted it and that's why we are not able to see. So this is how you can set up the OAuth 2 authentication to talk to Salesforce and we can use the OAuth 2 to talk to the Salesforce and we can use the delete method to delete the records in Salesforce. This is all in this video. I hope you understood how to configure OAuth 2 to talk to Salesforce and how to delete record in Salesforce. If you like this video, then click the like button and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.